Thank you to the Patreons for supporting the channel and helping me create this video, meaning I don't have to worry as much about that pesky little algorithm. And I guess it pays for one of the fortnightly meals that I give my editor. What do you mean only feed me monthly? Shut up, Schmeichel. Back in your cellar. Anyway, hello fellow engineers and welcome to Panorama and the O is a hexagon. Because you know what that means. Hexagons are the best guns in this game. So if we get straight into a new game, you might think this is Dwarf Romantic looking at it. Well, it sort of is, but also very different. And one of the reasons for that is there is actually an end game condition. Unlock all structures to win the game. But yeah, aside from that, it plays fairly similarly. We've got 100 tiles down the bottom. Once they run out, it's game over. These tiles are what are coming up next, but they sort of, they have different types, as you can see there. And essentially, as you stack types around each other, they will upgrade that one. So for now, let's shove this forest piece like there. But how this compares to Dwarf Romantic is you don't really need to worry about the visual adjacentness. That's down to the tile type. So we can just shove that there for now. I think we'll shove a house out that side. And then we have this one, a flower piece. Now, what a flower piece does is it upgrades every tile that it touches. Usually, if I wanted to like upgrade this forest piece, I'd need another forest piece to go next to it. If I wanted to upgrade this house, I'd need another house piece to go next to that. But this flower piece is sort of like a wild card. So if I shove that there, you can see we get the four little stars over each of those tiles because they are going to upgrade. So let's click and you can see, look, two houses on there, a load more trees on that one very cool right so this one you can see the tile split into two we've got water and trees so i should probably shove this somewhere over this way again unlike dwarf romantic we don't need to worry about the orientation that's just like a visual thing but i think we'll shove that up there we've then got a rock piece i think we'll come around the back here with that and then look the next piece is a star that is a quest piece and if we look at this tile you'll see it's a very very strong quest piece and he does it every time Right, so this piece, we've got the, the farm wheat and we've got houses. So if we rotate this like that way, going in there is pretty good in terms of adjacencies. Uh, worth noting on this one, the quest. You can see the house in the middle. We need to upgrade that three times in order to complete the quest. So essentially, we need to surround it in three houses. So if we plonk that there, that will be good because it also upgrades our house that's already there. So let's do that. Oh, look at the size of that boy. That dwarfs over the other houses. Love it. And next up, you can see we've got tree, rock, and water. Well, over this way, we've got forest, we've got water and trees on that one, and we've got rock there. So going in the middle, oh yes, you can see the stars above, so that's going to upgrade all of those tiles. Boosh! Then got a rock one, I guess we'll shove that there. A tree one, probably worth coming over this way. Boosh! Oh man, I love that it's upgrading! Now we've got another rock one over here. I feel like I'm making another strong shape. That's not intentional. <laughs> oh, and then we're up to a flower, the wild card. So... If I were to shove this over this way, then we can start completing that quest because that's a wild card, so it will upgrade the, the house in the middle. So I'm going to do it. Boosh. All right, so this one we got house, wheat, and rock. So that can finish our quest by going there. Boosh. There is the quest completed. And basically, as we've been going along, we've been filling up this bar in the bottom left. Once that gets to 75, we get to pick a building. And remember, the aim of the game is to unlock all of them to win. So now I have a water piece, so I'll shove that there next to the two lakes. Well, I've got another house quest with a four upgrade on it, blooming out. So probably worth trying to get this to touch two houses like that. Because if I shove it there, you can see it's still got a plus three. If I shove it there, it gets a plus two. That's because it's touching two houses. Back there is a plus three again. Although I could go in there, which is the fully upgraded house it's touching. So we could go there, and then we just need one house on the edge. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Boosh. You can see in there, house in the middle is now... Well, I don't know if it is a church or if it's just like... It's gained a hard hat. Actually, it looks more like a World War II hat. Anyway, final house piece that can go in there. That completes the quest. Boosh. And then we've completed the bottom left quest. So we get this little thing here. And if we click on that, that is our choice for our structure. So, hillside airship expands the tile placement space by one. We got a windmill, which places 10 wheats down. Or a small orchard, which doubles all points from the forest tiles. And now with these, it's sort of worth waiting-ish uh, until you have a quest that you want to complete. Like if we have a wheat quest, we can just place this down. That's 10 wheats instantly. Uh, so I think for now, we'll choose one later. In the meantime, I'll keep going. So rock and trees. I can't really... I can't do that because we split up the rock and trees with the water. So I guess we'll go in there to get the max leveled trees in the middle. Nice. Got another house over here. Boosh. 
You can see the neighbors like, I, w I want a helmet on my house. And that is how trends start. Uh, water and forest can go up there. And then over this way, we're just going to get rocky with it. So double rocks. Forest over this way. Oh, man, there's someone someone camping in the woods. Oh, wow, look, they got a, they got a fire going as well. Anyway, oh, this one is forest and a wild card flower. So tell you what, let's go in the middle there. That's nine points we get for that. So boosh. Just got to get to 150 to get our next building. So we'll just keep adding forest and stuff. Ah, oh, we've got a quest one. What is this? Okay, it's a wild card quest. So have we got to surround it in the flower? The upgrade wild cards one? Blooming out. Okay, so basically anyone's with flowers on. You can see there's a tile here. So that gets us plus one. Or I probably want to go over this way since this is where our rocks are. Although there's no real way to touch. Okay, well, we'll go there for now. And then we just need one more flower to go around this edge. So I need to make sure I don't fill in those. Oh, it's not even that edge. It's just it's just that tile. Because it's just the middle tile, remember? That's the quest tile. So houses over this way. Water in that gap. Ooh, rocks and houses. That can go there. Lovely. Rock on its own there. House on its own in the middle. That is... Oh, yeah, that is upgrading some stuff. Look, the helmet houses are spreading. Yeah, we got rock and wheat. So I think that works... Yeah, up there. So that'll upgrade both the adjacent tiles. Boosh. Forest there. Wheat over this way. Oh, and then a quest. Oh, nice. And it's a wheat one, which means I can literally just do that and it, it does it straight away. In fact, if I rotate like that, then we're against the rock as well. That's 23 points. Blooming out. Upgrade. All right. So now we've got two of these buildings. We should probably actually start using one. So I guess we'll do... So we'll do a small orchard for now. Because, oh, look, that's got a flower on it. So basically with these buildings, they sort of have their own quests in them. So you can see for this one, we need a forest tile, a forest tile, a flower tile, and a house tile. And then you can see the area it would work in. I and mean, actually down here, there is an undo button. I do just want to check what would the wheat one be like. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's worth doing like wheat over there. Because we can see the area it will fill in. Or in fact, if we come this way, because the flower tiles are quite rare. I know I need one to complete that quest. So if I, you can shove these on top of things. So you can see there we've got the, the no symbol. But if we move there, you can see the field one is on a field. And if I move there, can you see there's flowers on the right? So maybe I should do that because then I only need a house and a bit of wheat. Or even if I, if I rotate that way and go there, then our house is sort of even closer to the other houses. Yeah, let's go there. So now if we get a wheat or a house, they will go there. But for now, we'll just continue expanding this. So rock in there. Look at these rocks. We're probably making like a mountain range. All right, so we've got a house tile. So that can go there. And then, oh, we got a wild card. So we'll complete this quest. Boosh. And then the other one, I guess we just want a gap. Like, oh, a gap in there. That will upgrade every adjacent tile. So, boosh. Decent. Now we have another quest tile. So this one, this one is rocks. So we need to upgrade a rock four times. Well, our mountain range might be able to help us here. Because, yeah, it needs four upgrades. So if we go there, that's three upgrades. If we go there, we're touching three upgraded tiles. Yeah, so definitely worth putting this in the middle because we're touching three rock tiles. So I'll do that. Then I just need one more rock to go like there or something. Uh, we've got a house, so let's get shove that there. We've got rock, water, and forest. I might shove this over this side. Or perhaps I could go over there and start a new water area. Yeah, let's do that. A few more ponds about. Anyway, we have the final rock piece to go either in one of those. I think we'll go in that one. So that completes that quest. And then we've got the final bit of wheat. So we can finally make this building. And that shows you the tiles that you'll get your new wheat on. So, boosh. Yes, look at all that wheat. Thank you, Mr. Windmill. And that's given us a new upgrade building. So we should probably get on those before we get too far. But I do just want to have a little look. Yeah, look at that windmill. Look, it comes with little sunflowers out the front and stuff. I like that. Oh, and a pumpkin and a scarecrow. Oh, that's a massive scarecrow. Look at the size of it. That's a massive pumpkin compared to the houses. <laughs> That's terrifying. Actually, the sunflowers are terrifying. I don't think I like this anymore. But anyway, we have two structure tiles. So let's grab one. So the first one, oh, it's a barn. Upgrades all wheat in the area. So I'm literally going to ignore the one called Bell Tower. Despite easily being the most efficient building there. We're going with the wheat because we're going for points. We've got to think sense here. This is going to upgrade all of them in an area. So I probably want that area to be as big as possible. So it might not be worth going there. We could actually go backwards just so we're like, we'll be upgrading more tiles. I don't know, actually. Ah, sort of. I think we'll go there. Safety first. So we'll shove another one in there. Then we just need the, the wild card flower. In the meantime, rocks and wheat go there. Houses go up this way. Look, they got their washing out. That is very flat 2D washing. <laughs> I really like it, though. All right, here's our wild card. So do I shove that in now? 
Or do I wait until it's surrounded a bit more? I might wait, if I'm honest. Or is that silly? I don't know. I don't know whether I should be surrounding this in wheat first. Or whether, like, does the barn work after? Will it upgrade them afterwards? Probably not. I can see down there, there's a wheat and then a flower afterwards. So yeah, maybe we'll do that afterwards. So let's shove you in there. You've then got a quest, oh, which is a wheat one. So we'll shove you there. We'll make the world's strongest lake over there. I would definitely go for a swim in that. Then house rock and trees, rock and trees, trees and flower. Boosh. And then we've got another forest one. So I'll shove this up there to complete the quest. That's plus 20. And then the flower in there will complete that entire area. I am thinking though, should I just have a quick look in here? So we've got Fisherman's Hut, which doubles all points from water. A geyser or geezer, if you're like British from London. Geezer, which upgrades all the water tiles. And then a hillside quarry, which places 10 rocks down. Uh, let's go with the Fisherman's Hut and then we'll shove it over this way. Now, worth noting, you don't actually have to go like adjacent to stuff. So I could maximize my area by coming like there. Or even if I were to rotate, I could make use of that flower. Yeah, because that covers the strongest shaped lake. And we use the flower that's already there. I think that's good, actually. So then this flower can go in there to finish that. Boosh. And that is a whole load of points for all the adjacent farm tiles. And we get another upgrade building. Oh, look, the fishman hut gets upgraded. So you can get like different start of each one. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah, let's work on a water area. So river fishman's hut, two star. And then perhaps I can like... Now, I was going to say we want to try and share these, but we can't share that because that is going to all become the fisherman's hut. Yeah, but I guess we'll plan for that to go up there. We've got 124 tiles. It's going to be a while till we need to fill that in. Keep growing our forest. Then we have another quest. So this one is a water one. Now, there is a bit of a farm on it. There is a house as well. So I reckon it might be worth trying to fill in some of those. So yeah, that actually works quite well. We've then got to surround it in water, but that helps us with the double points, remember? So we got one water, so that can go in there. We then got another house. Should probably just fill in that one for now. Although a house and water could be more useful. So yeah, I'll shove this over this way. We'll watch the helmet roofs continue to spread. It's like a virus, it's like an architectural virus spreading everywhere. Yeah, we got a flower. So I think I will shove that there just so that that's done. Then we got another one, which I guess just wants to go in a hole like that. The more tiles it's surrounding, the better. And another quest. Oh, rock and and water. Now it is a rock quest, so I probably do want to go near those. That will complete it. But then up over this way, because it's next to like the flower tiles, they're wild cards anyway, so I can shove anything next to them. So I might do that one. And then I just need one rock to go in the middle between those two. I mean, or I can shove a wild card there, and that does the same job. So boosh, another quest completed. Uh, let's expand this town a bit, expand the forest, expand the rocks. Oh, nice. We got another bit of water. So I probably want one to go in there. I'll just fly through all these other ones doing adjacent tiles as needed. Right, and then we got a few water tiles prepared. So I could like start filling up these buildings, but then that doubles the points in the area. So I should probably fill this with water first. So I think I'll shove water there. And then let's just check out this tile as well. Oh, look, it's a fountain. So that will place 10 water in the area. So that's perfect for this place. So if I just make sure that those tiles are filled with it. So I think perhaps doing something like that should be good. Now then we can fill those in. I've got a house, rock and water combo. Probably worth doing that house since it has house and water on. And then shove a farm over that way. We've got another quest for houses that can go up here, of course. And then I'll try and start filling this one in as quick as possible. Although worth noting, I can't actually, I've got a flower piece here. I can't actually place that in there. Because I can only place tiles adjacent to ones that I have. So if I want to fill that up, I am going to have to surround it with water. Or at least do water around the back. But that's fine. That's what we were planned to do anyway. So I'll see you in a bit when we're a bit closer to completing that. The following Thursday. Alright, so we're getting close now. I've just got a big, big old quest tile. I think I can go in there. That completes two forest quests. And gets me 32 points. So we're nearly up to another building as well. I mean, I've got one stacked up waiting actually. No, but first, house and water's got to go there-ish. House, water, and forest. There we go. There's the forest that we need. So if I shove that there, that covers the area in water, which means I just need two more water tiles to get those in. That'll give us double points for all the surrounding water. So let's just quickly get to those. So farm up here, house over here, forest over this way. So one water. I guess we do the small one first because that's a smaller area. So, oh, there it is. We've now got two buildings ready. I'll just quickly complete that quest there. Shove a flower in there. See what this quest is. Oh, it's houses and 
and farms. So we'll do that over this way. So I feel like in this gap sort of works. Then I can see there's a lot of water coming up actually. So I might wait a little bit to fill that in. Because if we look at the area, this space here I could fill with water to get double the points. So probably worth doing that. And also probably worth checking out what these buildings are. So we have another geyser. Geyser. So that upgrades all the water in an area. So maybe maybe we can go there with that. Make use of the flower card. And then we're just going to fill this area with water first. So yeah, that works. This one works because although it's a house and a farm, there's also water on it. So it still counts. You got a forest quest. So that can go over this way. That looks a pretty good placement because we just need one more forest each. So I guess one can go there to do that one. Get rid of the rocks. Get rid of the water. And then the other one can go like there. Boosh, both of those done. And then we got more buildings to pick from. Oh, we got an upgraded geyser. There's so much water going on here. Now, there is also a silo though. Maybe I should like steer away from the water so we're not just too focused. So yeah, let's do the silo because we got quite a big farm area. So I think we'll go there with that because that's two of them done. We just need a flower, which can be that one. Complete the house quest by doing that. And then this one can go there. Boosh. And we got another quest, houses and flowers. So if I go there, that sort of does a little bit of the houses, but it completes the flower. Yeah, let's do that then. And then we'll pick a new building as well. So, oh, look, places water, a two-star fountain. Okay, that's got to go up here. So if we do, yeah, I guess we just do that because then we've got a rock and water, which can be that one. We've got the flower that, oh, no, can't put the flower in yet because, look, there's no adjacent tiles yet. I need water, forest, or another water first. Now, this flower, though, I may as well shove it, like, in the gaps, because that's, like, seven points. Decent. I finally got a forest piece, so that can go in the middle there. I can use these two houses to finish that quest. Boosh. Then I can start filling in the water tiles and the flower tiles. Until finally, we got the last water, so that will go there and fill all of those with water. Love it. And then if I get one more water in that one, uh, they'll all be worth double. So let's get to that point. Okay, so here we go. So water goes in there. That turns into that. And then points for days. We've just unlocked two buildings. So, gotta be time to do a bell tower, right? So, I think that works there. You just need a flower, which can go there. And then a house, which can go there. Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that. And then that's given us another upgrade card. Oh, an improved barn. So, that upgrades all the wheat. Okay, let's go over this way. So, I think going in like that should be good. Then just need flower, house, wheat. And if we put a final wheat down, that's 64 points. Blooming hell. So crazy. <laughs> crazy amount of points. You can see the tier one barn in the background. This is the tier two. It's got even bigger pumpkins. Oh, it's got a cat. Oh, look, it's got a cat. But then that is another building upgrade. Oh, there's an improved windmill. This is 20. Oh, man. I don't know what to do now. I do like the improved stuff. But I feel like I've just sort of done the wheat. Maybe I should move on to houses. Let's do a haul. All right, so that's gone there. I've got a single water tile and I got a perfect hole to put it in. So, boosh, 15 big ones. A quest here for houses and wheat. I should probably shove this up by the wheat, to be honest. So, yeah, we'll go there. All right, and then I got a quest that has three house quest tiles. Um, and if I shove it, like, within that building, that places houses. So, this could actually work out really well. If I, if I do there, I think that should complete most of them. Because, ready, all the houses get plonked down. Oh, no, what? They didn't count. Oh, I thought they were going to count towards the quests. Okay, that doesn't count. Okay, thankfully, undo button. Let's not go there then. Maybe we need to do that afterwards. So if I go there first and then shove a house on that tile. Yeah, when that fills it in, okay, that works as a second step. Okay, got it. So that was three quests completed in one go. I can do another house there to complete another quest. So that is another one of these unlocked. Oh, industrial barn level three. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. So what does it need? Three houses, three wheat, and a flower. I'm sort of wondering, could I like go in by rotate? Yes, look at that. So we've already done three tiles. Okay, then shove that there. Do a bit of that. Complete these quests. Keep completing these other quests. Boosh. Get lucky with a few of these placements. That completes two quests. Lovely. And then just keep filling this area with farms. And if they help us complete quests, even better. Because then we get to a point where we can fill in the last house. And look, that gets 101 points. Because wow. it upgrades all the farm tiles. <laughs> look at all that wheat. So once this has finished calculating, we should see... We got two buildings to upgrade. Let's get a large sea geyser. Geyser? Geyser? I'm really, I'm really not sure on that one. 
happy. I will just fill in these tiles. Then all of those will upgrade. 72 points. Boosh. Another building. We'll go with the sea fountain, I think. We're just going all out sea. So we need forest. We need wild card. And then just water. Water with house there. And the final bit of water should fill in there with water. And look at the fountain. It's a masterpiece. I'm probably a bit too close. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Okay, by the way, look at this. Look how big it is. Look how pretty it is as well. It's a great castle, tree of life, or ancient obelisk. We need to build them all to complete the game. I'm not sure it's going to happen, though, because we're down to 56 tiles. I think obelisk could work. So let's have a look at the layout. It's rocks and water. Guess we can go there. Oh, look, there's a canoe. Oh, no, it's an, it's an empty canoe. That's a bit... um. A little bit worrying that. Anyway, yeah, check out. The I'm actually well proud of myself. This looks awesome. We just got to make sure we're still completing the quests because that is key to this. So, boosh, there's another one. All the rocks can go over this way. And we got a hillside quarry, probably worth putting in the middle of the sea, not the hillside. And you'll see there is a reason for that. So, flower piece there, rock piece there. So, this covers everywhere in rock. And that will help us because when I place this piece in there... Oh my goodness, did you see the points? So this obelisk upgrades all the water and rock tiles, which will get us 700 points. Oh my goodness, look how pointy it is. So look at all the points coming flying in. I love it. I love it. You can't catch me. Oh, look, I'm escaping them. I'm escaping them. In your face. No, you can't catch up with me. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> no, they are. Oh, that's so fast. Anyway, it sounds like the sound is broken because uh, the points are just racking in. We've got three buildings to play with. So I reckon let's do let's do an improved windmill. I quite like the windmill. So a bit of farm there. I'll just shove this rock like with some other rocks and then that will complete it. So the windmill gives us loads of that. We then can get oh an even bigger bell tower to start. Then house there to finish that lovely jublet. Do small orchard. So that goes there like that. The sea fisherman's hut, which goes there like that. A small tree on rocks, which sort of fits in there perfectly. I just need one rock, which is pretty much my next tile. Boosh. And we've got industrial windmill tier three, which does fit in there, although it won't actually give us much bonus, but sod it. We just need a house, a farm, and a flower. So that fills in all of those. Uh, oh, which is quite useful for this one. Thank you very much. Remember, you can use flowers to fill in these. So I may as well do that a little bit. And then, oh, the city bell tower. So I feel like we make new town over this way. So then rock goes in the middle. That makes the city bell tower. Look, you can see my three bell towers. I reckon we'll do the airship next. So that's that in. Oh, look at that. Man, this game is wicked. I'm actually loving this. <laughs> I just looked. I've been going for over two hours. Oops. Anyway, we're finally down to our last four cards, so we've got to be a little bit careful. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to complete these quests because they're all plus three. I do actually have another one of these, and the hillside cottage might be possible because I can put that there. I only need a flower and a rock. I've got the rock. I know the flower is my last card, assuming I don't get any more, which I don't think I will, unfortunately. So if we shove that in there... That is game over. We got just over half the structures. We got a score of 5,860. Nearly paid for two hours. And if you try this out, let me know in the comments what, what score you got. Whether you got all the structures. Meanwhile, I'm going to have a look around and enjoy what I made. Look, at, I actually love the graphics of this. It's insane. Oh, I didn't realize. Is the map sort of like curved? Like curvature of the earth sort of curved? Sorry, flat earthers. You're outnumbered here. But yeah, what a fun little game. Building on Dorf Romantic. Definitely its own unique thing. Absolutely love it. Thanks once again to the Patreons. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and efficiency is everywhere. Bye, guys.